Franz, what are you doing? I'm making it. I'm gonna be cold. You can just. This is it. Are you digging a hole? What is I that? I got a show traffic. What are you gonna show me? Where are you going? Casper. Wait. What is that, Fancy? What is that? What are you doing? Tell me. Are you climbing? Wait, wait, wait. Hello, Tata. Hello, Franz. What is this? Microphone. It's My chair. It's called a megaphone, Francie. Megaphone. Okay, can you talk in it again? I want to hear. Okay. Scream your name. Oh, stinky fans. Hello, stinky fans. Okay, what are you going to do? Whoa. Whoa. You see this? It's a trick. You can just fight. Hey, it's Vanner and this is Funning Frequency. So, there you have Franz in the background just having a good time. This is from a park here locally on our side of the river here in Warsaw. We cycled there today and yes, I actually did a trip on the longboard. Amazing to get out there again and hit the road and get a bit of exercise between you. Uh, well, I'm saying between you and me. I did mention it to Marta too. I think I nearly died on the way there. I can really feel that I'm not in a physical state that I was before winter. I think it's natural, but I was like thinking all the way that, yeah, Vanner, you and your chunky COVID ass, because uh, this pandemic has really taken its toll on me sitting here on the same chair day in and day out and, I think just getting out there and getting a little bit more physical man missions in, maneuverment, I wanted to say. It's just like, it's needed. And I think we will start doing that more and more now. And I think Marta enjoys it. Francie definitely enjoys hanging out on the bicycle. And uh, we will probably at some stage start encouraging him to get on his own bicycle. So it might be an interesting time for us going forward, uh, especially as we head into a bit more of spring. So... I'm really looking forward to that. And Marta and I are already talking about little adventures we can do. Um, what did she say the other day? Oh, yeah. You know, I couldn't really do a, a very detailed update yesterday because of uh, I keep on forgetting about recording over the weekend. And then uh, it's late night. We want to get Francie to bed. It's really, I can't really maneuver myself around the recording. So yesterday we went to the the breakfast market and I didn't mention that the breakfast market is usually closed during winter time. It's just not conducive. And it's really a market that is hosted in a park here in Warsaw. And then they the next day they go they move to another park. And it's like kind of it's really it's nice. It's uh, you know, when my parents was here and my cousin came to visit the opponent, we took them there. There's all kinds of food there, not just Polish, but I mean yesterday we noticed there was some some food from uh, Brazil, some of the Eastern European countries, but people are trying to make it interesting and also uh, bio and, you know, trying to make things a little bit more healthier. And so it's, it's, it's such a good vibe. And also while I was there, we bought um, some uh, Polish honey wine, which is awesome. I haven't had that in a long time, a long, long time, because we just haven't been able to get out. So it was a bit refreshing to, to get out there. Of course, the pandemic is always kind of like the shadow because we couldn't really sit and have a meal together like we usually do between everybody else because they usually have all these kind of tables set out and you just sit down wherever you can and just enjoy your meals. This was a bit different, but enjoyable nonetheless. I mean, I'm talking about yesterday. It should have been in yesterday's update. Today, we, we kind of just jumped on the bicycle and Marta uh, took Francie through and I was on the long board and well, seven kilometers there and seven kilometers back nearly died but 
but it was it was good to get out there. I can feel my body has been moving, but I think what I value more was just sitting with Marta in the in the park and watching Francie play and just you know grabbing the fresh fresh air, getting some sunlight. It was it was cool. I you know I value these times. It's this episode or these these shows are about finding the extraordinary, and in those moments, I really like I feel most alive, um, and I enjoy it the most just spending the, the time with them. And it's also an indicator that, you know, like yesterday when I have the short updates, it's it's not that I want to skimp on my episodes, but it's just when I get in the zone with Marta Franci, it's like we just enjoy each other's company. Yesterday we were watching a movie until late, like a cartoon with Franci, one of these Pixar movie jobs, and he loves, loves it. It's like he's really starting to understand some of the plot turns and things and we talk about it and we just hang out. And yeah, I mean, like for that today, for example, Marta went off, jumped in the car after we got back and she went out off to the Jauki. Now you've probably heard me talk about Jaukis before. It's like these little country houses people have here. It's very strange for me. Um, it's a very, I think a Polish or European thing where you have a country house but it's really a little shack. And uh, the one here near Warsaw is the one that I don't really enjoy so much going to. Uh, it, Marta's got a very special affinity for this one, uh, memory-wise, and also her family is there at the moment, so they went off to go and have like a little get-together and they're all preparing to, like, I, I think it's a thing. People go out and clean it and prepare it for the summertime. So, But that also gives me a, a bit of time to just wind down, especially after... <laughs> This 14 kilometers of of willing myself on this long board. So I'm probably going to have a bit of a lie down just now after this. But what a cool day. And yes, preparing for next week. I'm trying not to think too much about next week because there's a lot of things to do, um, which I feel positive about, but it's overwhelming sometimes. And there's a lot of things to think about and kind of kicking back into content creation. But then also Marta and I am thinking about, you know, what does the future hold for us and where where we where do we want to end up? And, you know, and also the one thing I haven't spoken much about also during the week is us going out to apply for a mortgage. And I've joked about it before about my age, but that, that also means that we need to be a bit more serious about, you know, what we want to do. Um, I'm a bit more of a kind of go with the flow kind of guy, not, giving up or not attending to things, but I always try and strategically see where things happen and then act on that when there's a, you know, the right thing comes along. Like I, I said to Martha, she just raised the eyebrow. It's like, it's like fishing. You have to be patient. But um, I think we also need to kind of just nudge things forward a little bit, you know, throw our wishes out there and start doing research and start looking at opportunities because we are, we are trying to find I mean, I think our key thing at the moment is that the, the place that we're living in is, is, is a tad too small. <laughs> um, if you ever came to visit me, you'll know. It's, it's not really made for a pandemic. It's serving us really well, especially with Francie going to kindergarten. But when he's going to get older and he wants a, a space for, him, for himself, it's going to become a problem. And I think we are trying to act on it now to see what we can do. And also maybe like nudge things into a bit, a bit more of a fresher adventure. We don't know. We just don't know. So uh, it's one of those things. Let's start stepping into a direction and see where it takes us. It might knock us right back here. And I think the one thing that's cool about it is like when you look, when you're looking for a job and you have a job already is that you can really look around for options. So uh, yeah, a lot of things to th consider and think about and, maybe reflect back on in a couple of months time when we look back on this. But then uh, between you and me, I'm also looking forward to planning some kind of little adventure or road trip, especially now with the sunlight coming through the windows here. It just it, possibility is starting to really surface. Um, hibernation is starting to end here in Eastern Europe. So, hey, some adventures await. Maybe a few more interesting updates, a bit more effort into the podcast. I don't know. Who knows? But uh, yeah, so let's see what happens next week. I hope you're having a good weekend and um, 
Yeah. I appreciate you. Thanks for listening.